Right then, so uh, gonna make the uh, hot water heating panel this evening. Uh, got a bit of wood, a bit of treated wood that is. Um, run out of nice larch and stuff. The mill's quite far away, so just got a few bits of treated wood. I got a uh, an old window to come out of an old uh, house or something. There's a place not far from here that I can get recycled windows from. So that's gonna be the glass. So we're gonna build a little box and then copper tube and everything all through it. Um, that's about the size. If we need to add more, we'll add more in the future, but yeah. Uh, we can start with that. So we'll put you on a time lapse and you can watch me build it. Right then, there's the first stage. A uh, nice uh, uh, treated wooden box that the um, well, the copper and everything is going to go in, that the window fits in perfectly. Uh, the window's actually got a seal around it. So the nice thing about using this is that seal is going to sit on the edge of uh, those bits of wood. So now we're going to figure out how much copper we're going to get in it. We want quite a bit of copper in there, you know. Uh, so this is probably about half a square metre. I think something like that, which means, you know, if the sun's shining on it pretty efficiently, we should get, should see 500 watts out of it of heat energy into the tank. So it will take most of the day to heat a full tank um, up to a nice, really hot, nice uh, temperature. So we we'll start with this, and if we, if it uh, can't keep up with the amount of people wanting to shower or whatever it is. Uh, we'll add another panel next to it, maybe facing um, a different direction for uh, for morning sun as opposed to evening sun. This into the shed. Uh, it's uh, winter here, Wales. Days are very short this time of year. Incredibly short. It's uh, just coming up to four, not even four o'clock, and we're losing the light. So I'm going to make these in 400 mil long pieces. So we'll, uh, mark that there. Maybe I'll just go and grab a pencil actually, hang on. Right, so yeah, uh, we're going to do 400mm pieces with a U-bend on each side and uh, I'm not sure how many pieces yet, I'm going to sort of look at it as I go along. I've got quite good intuition for stuff like this uh, to figure out if it's going to be enough or not. Um, so we'll, uh, I reckon we'll have at least six rows, possibly eight, depending on how it looks as we go along. But I reckon, uh, reckon probably six rows that we see. With, um, we'll put a T on the bottom as well because this isn't going to be used during the winter, and I want to be able to drain it so it doesn't get frozen. So I'll put a T with a with a drainage cock on the bottom. Right then, I've got all my uh, parts cut, all the different parts for the uh, the heat exchanging coil. Um, so next job is to start soldering. So they're going to be in a kind of well, I'll just show you quickly, kind of a bat-like fashion, you know, zigzagging up. So we just solder some bits at a time. So probably do like sections like that, get a load of sections done like that. Actually, that's wrong. We need the first one to have a drain in it as well. So the first one goes like uh, that, I believe. Yeah, that's it. And then we have a, a drain piece coming out of it. Uh, that goes like that downwards. So that's that. Okay, so we'll solder that up. And we'll just make the sections using the tile to keep it nice and flat. Okay, so uh, flux. I quite like soldering. I don't know what it is about it. I should quite, quite like it. I like working with copper. It's a bit of a shame to paint it, really. Lovely copper. But it's got to be painted black to absorb all the heat. So before on the shower head, uh, well, I haven't actually shown you that yet. There's a shower head video coming out where I'm uh, making my own shower head out of uh, 
out of copper and on that I didn't have to worry too much about it being uh, being watertight because it was a shower head it's supposed to leak but this is obviously a bit more important so these are going to want to be soldered quite well so there we go Soda. Okay, it looks good. So we do little sections like that, I'll do it on time lapse for you, you can watch me as we uh, go along. Right, we've got the coil soldered up uh, mostly, so now I'll just drill a hole through the side here and we knock this in and get this will be the uh, cold side bottom. A bit further in. About there. Maybe a little bit back. Or maybe not. That's about right. There's the cold. Now I'll spin this round. Drill this one for the hot out. Must be hot going out up there. We'll get it in the middle. Put some bits under it to raise it off off the uh, off the bottom we don't want it touching the bottom that'll suck heat away uh, we just want you know a few millimeters maybe not a lot just off the bottom so spin this round get that drilled and then we'll uh, start fixing it all right then poke this one through here and you had an auger bit which is not really the ideal bit to do that so it's torn up a bit but Wanted a nice tight fit, you see. It's got to be nice and tight. Something like that. Looks alright. Relatively straight. Yeah, I think we're happy with that. Cool. So, uh, how am I going to get that out? That's an issue. <laughs> ah. Well, that was silly. Uh, right, okay. Uh, okay, just like that. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Okay, then all screwed down. 
gonna put some uh, compression fittings on the end because they're a bit more uh, versatile. So we'll stick a compression fit in on each one of them. There and there, they need trimming down a little bit because they got uh, bashed. We we'll put compression fittings on the end. I need to put in the drain coming out of there. Drain for winter so it doesn't freeze up. Drain will come out of there. And then we've got to paint it and screw the window down. And we're done. Cool, eh? Right, let's just get this drain in here then. Just drill the hole through. Try and get that to line up. I got these knocking about. I've had a leftover from. Uh, I think I found them in a skip actually, to be honest with you. I think it was a building site I was working on back in my working in London days. And there was a load of stuff in a skip, if I remember rightly. That's alright, you can use that. Drain for the winter. Sorted. So that is now upside down. So that's the bottom. Drain that out for uh, end of the year when I know it's going to get frozen, so it doesn't bust the pipes. This is the cold. Cold water will come out of the tank into here. The heat from the sun shines in this. This water heats up gradually, moves through this pipe, getting hotter and hotter and hotter, and then comes out the other end and back up to the tank via th thermo siphon. That's the plan, so the next job is to paint it. Right, I've filled the, uh, right, I've filled the pan with water. I'm just going to give it a quick spray, just so it can collect a little bit of heat. And uh, it's a sunny day today, so I'm going to put it out in the sun. And as the water warmed up a bit, it should do a bit of a pressure test for us. and we can check for leaks and see if it actually heats up a bit which I think it will do but I've, I've put valves on the end so it can't so the water can't actually go anywhere so it is going to build up pressure in there so that's, and that's what we want so let's get a bit of this sprayed on here I've got this can so I'm not going to use it temperature probe here or laser one so if we shine it at the floor at seven degrees we shine it at that 12 13 14 rising on a stable 13 degrees so it's definitely hotter so we'll see uh, what it gets up to it's been sitting there gathering a little bit of heat uh, not sure yeah that doesn't really work like that because it's going through the glass right I'll take the glass off There we go, 18. So we've got a bit of temperature in there. It is, it's, uh, the sun is very low in the sky, but barely shining actually, so it's pretty hard. But I reckon we would have built up some pressure. There's no leaks, so that's good. Let's see if we have built up a bit of pressure. I bet we have. Open that. Don't know if you heard it, a bit of air come out. Yeah. Leave it to heat up a bit more, but I reckon, uh, reckon we're good. No leaks, I don't reckon. Okay, so I'm happy that the panels leak through. We got the water up to about 20 degrees or something. It had a little bit of pressure in there. 
not a lot but there's not going to be a lot of pressure in there anyway and we didn't see any drips anyway so I'm happy with that and uh, it just needs a bit more black paint that's the only can I had so we'll get some more black paint get it sprayed put the glass on it and then we can mount it man it's a horrible day out today there's a bit of a storm going on outside so I thought I'd just uh, quickly get a coat of paint on this I found a new window for it because uh, it fell over in the wind uh, so I found a new one I'm just going to give this a bit of a coat of paint Actually, I might rough up the surface first. Yeah, let's do that. All right, there we go. Surface roughed up. Get a little bit of paint on this. Spray paint doesn't look like you can point this down, so, but I don't want to get paint on surfaces and stuff so we just do it like this okay it's all painted they're the strips so once that's all dried and hardened I'll uh, put the sheet of glass in there Actually, I might mount it first and then put the sheet of glass in there. Not sure yet. But anyway, there it is. Looking good. Right then, I've got the frame in the box sitting on there nicely. So we just put, I don't know, a few screws in it, I suppose. Just through the edge, maybe. Should be alright. Pulling it nice and tight against that seal. Right, the inside of the glass is now clean. Uh, I'm going to turn this up the other way so it doesn't keep falling over on me. Right, quite heavy. Turn that up that way like that. Stick this bit of glass in with a clean face on the back. There, like that. Okay, there we are, I think that should work. Let's try and get some of these in. I haven't done these for quite a while. Can't really remember how to do them. I think for the most part you just smash them in. You start like that or well, well, I think I might have to dick around with these a little bit. I'll probably just uh, show you once it's done. Yeah, well, turns out, turns out violence is the key. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of touching up. That's all right. All right, last one going in, which is nice. Okay, just got to touch up the paint, we're good. Be nice one. Save a tiny bit in the can just for a uh, if we fit it, we knock any bits off it. Yeah, sweet. Have a look at that. Sorted. Okay, so that 
should now fit. Okay, so that is the solar hot water panel up and you see the drain uh, hangs off the edge of the roof which is good so we can drain it out for the winter. So the next jobs are going to be to do the plumbing um, and uh, then we're going to do the toilet area. We need to make some doors and uh, put the floor down but that will be coming soon. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.